my first year of summer camp, um, Gail ends with some kind of devotional, and Gail gave us the, a seashell. This is a seashell Gail gave me six years ago. And she's ended by saying, carry that in your pocket. You're going to make a difference in a child's life. So my first year of summer camp is going. I carried that seashell in my pocket every day. And uh, we had this, this boy named uh, Deshaun. And I still have his younger brother and sister today. And I tell my, his mom that I talk about him. But for a lack of a better word, and like I said, I talked to his mom, he was bad. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, I'm going to tell you, this is what it was. It didn't matter. This activity sucked. Swimming sucked. This, everything. It was horrible. It didn't matter what we did. So I tried the reverse psychology and said, why don't you help us? What would you like? You know, and try to plan something. Well, that didn't work. But week six came, and the family went on vacation. So the counselors were happy, and we were all like, oh, what are you We're going, everybody's going to back. So the seventh week of camp, that following Monday, Deshaun comes back, and I'm like, hi, Deshaun, how are you? Did you have a great vacation? Yep, great. Put his wristband on, do whatever. So we're doing pretty good. It gets to be about 10.30 in the morning, and he says, Miss Mary, I need to talk to you. And I was like, oh, I know it's too good to be true. And um, I was like, so I go over and I'm like, how can I help you? And he's like, no, I want to talk to you over there. So I go over and we have cafeteria tables. And he said, I, I need you to sit down and close your eyes and put out your hand. And I busted out laughing. I was like, you have lost your mind. Week one, two, and maybe three, I would have fell for that. But we're at week seven and now I'm a little bit smarter. And he said, no, Miss Mary. He said, seriously. He said, I promise I won't put anything in your hand. He said, put out your hand, close your eyes. So I'm going to try not to get emotional about this because I'm very passionate about those kids on the field. Anyways, I put my hand out on the table, and he puts something in my hand, and he closes my hand and puts his hand on top. And he says to me, he says, Miss Mary, he said, thank you for believing in me. Thank you for never downgrading me. Thank you for always being supportive. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for giving me a hug every morning. Thank you for smiling. Thank you for telling me I could be a better person. He says, I know that I have not been a good person. And he said, I just want you to know that the next three weeks of camp, you will not hear me say the word suck. <laughs> and I will be the best camper you've ever had. And he said, I can't thank you enough for changing my life. So by this time, I'm crying. And... I thought he would get me on that, and he didn't. And I opened, and he says, you can open your hand. And I opened my hand, and in my hand, they went to South, um, South Carolina to the beach. He brought me a seashell. So Gail gave me a seashell at the beginning of the summer. Deshaun is not the person I thought I would have been a superhero in his life. I was never so weak for 10 weeks to get over. <laughs> it was like five other kids that I thought I was making a difference in. So it's that person's life that you don't know that you're making a difference in. And I can tell you at my camp alone, this summer I've had kids in my camp who are homeless. If it wasn't for your donations, for your generosity, for your caring about kids, they wouldn't be there. And I know that for eight hours, they're being fed and they're being taken care of and they're physically being active and nutritionally being fed. So for myself, my other program directors, for all those kids on the field, I can't thank you enough. Um, I'm going to end with a quote because I've carried this quote since I found it um, for summer camp. It's by Robert Clancy. It says, be a superhero. We all have the capability to be a superhero. In order to become one, you just have to find your unique power or your ability to exploit it for the greater good. The cape and the mask, they're optional accessories, but a kind heart is essential. So really, thank you very much. So I'm going to end with, I have a card with this quote on it that says, thank you for being a superhero. I'm going to pass it out. There's got to be a superhero in everybody's life. Somebody you do. Please take a card and pass it on. Let somebody else know what the, they're their superhero. Thank you very much.